Hey there, everybody. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to convert the hydroxyl group, which is a bad leaving group, it leaves us hydroxide, how to convert it into a better leaving group. Now, if we look at the reasons why it's such a, a bad leaving group, essentially, if we imagined this uh, reaction mixture to undergo an SN2 reaction, the leaving group would be hydroxide. And we know hydroxide as a, as a strong base. pK of its conjugate acid is water, 15.7. The other issue that comes up is if the nucleophile is also a strong base, it tends to just deprotonate the hydroxyl group um, rather than undergo the SN2 reaction. Remember, those acid-base reactions are typically very quick, especially when they favor the products. So let's look at the two main ways that we can use to convert the hydroxyl group into a better leaving group. Method one is to use an acid. So we might use an acid uh, such as tosic acid, um, very common in organic chemistry because it dissolves in organic solvents, uh, but it's equivalent to something like HCl or, or sulfuric acid. And so by protonating that hydroxyl group, shifting that equilibrium over to the protonated side, uh, now the leaving group in the SN2 reaction is, is water. And water all over the place, we kind of intuitively know it to be stable. With the pKa of, of hydronium, it's conjugate acid at around minus two. Okay, so now this um, better leaving group can undergo an SN2 reaction with a number of different kinds of nucleophiles. The thing to watch out for here though is that if the nucleophile is also a strong base, it'll just deprotonate um, that protonated hydroxyl rather than undergoing the, the uh, SN2 reaction. So when that's a problem, when the nucleophile is also strong enough as a base, then to shift that equilibrium right back to the starting materials, there's another way we can use. So method two uh, involves converting the hydroxyl group into what's known as a sulfonate ester. And sulfonate esters uh, become excellent leaving groups. Uh, they're essentially analogous to uh, sulfuric acids. And so the way that uh, we, we do that is we take a sulfonyl chloride, and essentially that hydroxyl group now becomes the nucleophile, can undergo an SN2 reaction in the presence of a base to end up with the sulfonate ester. Now in a second reaction, second and separate reaction, uh, we can introduce a nucleophile, and when those two species collide, nucleophile and electrophile, now that species can undergo an SN2 reaction with an excellent leaving group, the sulfonate, pK of its conjugate acids way well below zero, and we don't have to worry about the same um, competing effects of the nucleophile also being a good base and also undergoing uh, potentially just deprotonate. There's nothing to deprotonate uh, on that oxygen anymore. Okay, so in summary, two methods if we need to convert a hydroxyl group into a better leaving group. Method one was to use an acid. We have to be careful though, that only works if the nucleophile is not also a strong base. Um, the more surefire method, but it takes an extra reaction step, is method two, which is converting the hydroxyl group um, into a sulfonate ester.